fully lifted. Hoser is boiling. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's without the humidity. It's over 100 and fair, over, it feels like 100 plus Fahrenheit, according to the weather network. It's like a friggin' Florida weather. This is crazy. So I'm on my way to a no-cool seven-year-old unit. What's new? The greatest frustration of my company. All the old stuff goes to the sales tax. All the warranty work goes to guys like me. Fun, fun, fun. So anyways, let's see what happens when we get there. I mean, this week is crazy how hot it is. Friggin' heat wave from snow to this. <laughs> Cook an egg on this pavement. So for all you guys out there that think Canada is moose, cold weather, hockey, and Labatt Blue, well, it doesn't work that way. Coldest winters, hottest summers, it's insane. It's because we're in a valley. So, hopefully we get some good footage. See what it is when we get there. I'm two minutes away. States. She hasn't seen it on yet. Head around the side. I hear it on. Alright guys, I got everything hooked up here. <clears throat> Customer said she didn't hear it come on or anything, but it's on. Connected my probes. And, uh, I mean, we got pressure in the system. And so, outdoor is 91. So I'll just enter that. So far, everything's looking good on here. I mean, super heat, subcooling. We'll go see what we have on the indoors and uh, go from there. But so far, the pressures don't look terrible. They actually kind of line up pretty nice. The saturation on the low side is 40, which is pretty good.
see if I can get us more lights down here. There we go. Well, I know I've been here before. Tips. So, oh, this one's a piston. Interesting. <coughs> so I'm gonna connect my probes in here. See how well it's doing. So what did we say? Two-ton unit out there. So this thing looks like it's doing pretty well if you ask me. Temperature split bang on. Airflow's bang on. Enthalpy's good. A little higher on the low side, but that's fine. Saturation of 40 looks good. High side looks a little lower, but that's okay. I think airflow's like Linux, so pretty sure we run similar CTOAs as Linux. So if we do that, pressure lines up perfectly. Okay. Now the one thing I did notice is superheat's a little too high, so a tad juice to kind of balance this unit out. Probably never been balanced, to be honest with you. But so far we're looking good, guys. <clears throat> All right. So I would say we're undercharged a bit. System may be undercharged with refrigerant, which is pretty self-explanatory because our superheat's a little high. So let's get this superheat down. I mean, my loads indoors is pretty low. That's not bad. 58 wet bulbs, 70 return. Cooling and purring quite nicely. So let's go outside and bring that superheat down. Probably just needs a couple squirts and we're okay. Made my superheat a little higher, so we'll just throw in a bit of gas. Of course, you don't want to overshoot it. A couple more squirts. So far, we're looking good. I'll check the cap before I leave. Sometimes it's just the user air, you know, especially with those fancy thermostats. Super heat's dropping nice. All right, so I'm gonna check my fan side. Four point nine. Hermetic. Thirty-six point two. Thirty-six point two and thirty-five. So a little bit higher. Let's check that again. I'll go to my common. My Hermetic. Thirty-six point two. So we're still good on that. Oh, I'll put that back. Red goes to common. Purple the fan. Who knows, maybe she had a bug in the contactor. I mean, there's a bug there, but everything looks good with that. All right, <clears throat> super heat's bang on. Everything's looking good. Um, pressures are good. I mean, it's cooling well inside. Delta's really good. Confirmed airflow via the board. That's doing good. So, 
I mean, we know it's not undercharged. It's actually doing quite well. My load inside's pretty low, but I think we're going to call this a day for this one. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button if you like it. See you later. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here